So, uh, John, I'm doing this for the Globe Mail. Perhaps it's a bit embarrassing to ask you, but what are your views on, on Canada and on the future of our, our country? Well, Canada, I think, is actually very, very interesting at the moment, not least in terms of the economy, because Canada is the one place where the banks worked fine. Yeah. And you have that, and yet still Canada is... I was here earlier this year. At the time, it looked like Canada might be able to avoid bits of it, but you still had a year where... GDP is going to go down by 2% or around there. You've still got unemployment up around 9%. Mm. You know, still, Canada's still being hit. I think Canada will always be this experimental place where you've got a little bit of Europe and you've got a little bit of, 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 of America. And you put the two together and often you come up with intriguing new things. Look at the debate about healthcare. Um, it, we've, we've talked a lot about my innate economic liberalism. <laughs> but to me, healthcare is one of those areas where you do need the state in some way, and Canada's always been offered a model in that. And I, I think it's, you know, Canada remains vibrant and good. I, th I think it's, the, the interesting bit will be how much over the next period Canada gets dragged down, I think, by what you might describe as the more Anglo-Saxon economies, because it, obviously Canada relies very heavily on, on America as a customer. We're one of the, along with the UK and the US and Australia, one of the great multicultural nations mm. of the world. Is that diversity a strength, or do we also bring problems to oh, diversity? Think, well, you, there are always problems with diversity, but I think it's, the problems are always outweighed by the strengths, I think. I, I think that's a... I was in Toronto the other day, and in, or even Vancouver. You look at what's happened, immigration has done to those cities, and actually, on the whole, how well they've coped with it. I think it is a great source of strength. Um, Canada's always been an immigrant nation with that side of it. And I've, I've always... The, the Economist has always been a, a rampant supporter of immigration. Because it, it goes back to that belief in openness. You know, globalization is not just about services and goods and trucks crossing borders. It's about ideas and people. It's worth remembering, you know, 100 years ago, you could travel around the world without a passport. And so when people talk about the current age of untrammeled globalization, actually, there was a time when it was even easier and when capital could also arguably move, move more quickly. But people's ability to move around the world, I think, is one of the, one of the fundamental freedoms. And, and there's a lot of, um, you know, I think it's a huge amount to admire in Canada, that the difficulty will be over this next period about how much it feels sucked into problems which are largely somewhere else. One of our two big leaders in Canada is Michael Ignacia for the yeah. Liberal Party. He was for many years in the UK. What is your view of Michael Ignacia from the British perspective? He's much respected in Britain. And actually, to be fair, you know, Harper is not, Harper is respected as well. I think, that, I think from that perspective, you've got a very intriguing choice between two different sets of people. Ignatiev was very much admired as an academic and a thinker, and that's to his fore. It has to be said, and, and this is not doing him down at all, is that you know, it doesn't, good thinkers don't always translate into good politicians, and that's where it's difficult. But you know, Harper in his own way has kept on pushing through. I don't, I mean, I, you, 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 it's interesting how Harper has survived the Bush disappearance where to some extent because of his, some of his conservative credentials he was put alongside them at least in at least in terms of the global order mm. and yet he's sort of come through that he, he's a strangely resilient character and so well, I think it's set up actually quite nicely for, 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 for a battle whether Canadians want yet another election <laughs> so quickly would be is another question